final point also, but um, it goes way beyond that. So right now, the majority of ethanol is being produced from corn. The problem with corn-based ethanol is that there's no differentiation in the world market between corn for industrial production and corn for food consumption. So uh, marginal fluctuations in the price of corn are going to make it terribly impossible for folks who are living under $2 a day in the developing world to feed themselves. Um, which is why Senator Obama has, uh, you know, is okay with using corn-based ethanol only as a bridge to cellulosic ethanol. This is something I've been the, the, asking recently. Um, so as a bridge to cellulosic ethanol. Cellulosic ethanol is where you can turn wood chips and grass, for example, into an alternate energy uh, fuel source. Um, so his insight into these problems, like there's, you know, it, it can't wait for it to just say for or against it. It looks at the connections between um, the programs and issues that exist on the yeah. It's funny, I actually don't think that's true. I don't think it's hard for them to get um, these types of, of uh, votes. And to be honest, my focus was uh, was not in, in California. It's been out here in the Midwest. But uh, I think the example of South Carolina is great. You know, the press had a field day with picking up on the Clinton campaign's sort of, uh, you know, there was a, a sense of, of putting a focus on race where race shouldn't have been a focus. Uh, and if you look at a map of South Carolina and how many counties and precincts he actually won in, I believe it was only two counties uh, where Senator Obama did not win. Um, so without the support of poor white voters, Latino voters, uh, white voters overall actually, Asian American voters, what have you, Certainly, Barack would not have won the state of South Carolina. Uh, I sort of laughed to myself on Tuesday when the first state to get called was Georgia. Um, you know, and I think the, the press is so ingrained with needing to put everything in a category that the headline on AP before they announced other, other states was um, African American vote leads to Obama win in Georgia. Well, the next two states that were called were Idaho and North Dakota, who also went for Barack overwhelmingly in huge numbers. Uh, you know, not the, the states that have high concentrations of, of African American <coughs> um, Having the chance to work on the inside of the campaign, I, I would have to say that um, folks are not approached as, as blocks. Um, they really are included in every aspect of what it means to be American. Uh, an example I can give you, one of the stops that we made doing outreach to high school students in Iowa, <coughs> in Iowa was a, a rural town that had a disproportionate number of uh, Latino folks who historically had not voted. Their parents had not gotten involved in politics, and a lot of these kids had not gotten involved. And um, we were doing an outreach event, but the campaign also sent folks with us to go out and find out why it was that uh, this community was underserved. Was there something specifically about them where they felt like they weren't able to participate in their own government and have their voices heard? Now, I think that speaks volumes compared to or rather contrasted with something else, which is, uh, you know, over the summer I got a call from another campaign, which is the main name is, uh, saying, will you do a fundraiser called Indian Americans for this trend? And I said, why? And he said, well, you know, the Indian American community has a lot of money. <laughs> and we want to make sure that they vote for this person. And I'm like, so you want the monkey to dance? <laughs> I didn't say that. I thought that in my head. I very politely declined, and I said, by the way, I'm leaning towards Senator Obama anyway, so uh, I'm sorry. Now, contrast that with what I witnessed in, in Iowa, where it just talked about how to get folks' voices heard. And to this day, I mean, I signed up to volunteer in October. I have yet to hear anybody describe with, uh, you know, the tag before, uh, before saying African American, Asian American, uh, you know, gay or lesbian American, uh, wh whatever the, 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 the tone is, because there really is a focus on how we're all American. And it's not just a talking point, it's something done in practice. And I think that's what you're seeing. That's what the press and other campaigns are having such a hard time suggesting, is that it's not just the idea of us all being American, it's the fact that this movement is all of us being American together. And so you can't pick apart whether or not there was a strong black vote or Latin vote uh, or Asian American vote because they're all actually coming out together to knock on doors and make phone calls. You even have Republican folks who are sitting next to lifelong liberals making phone calls like the Alpha Barack. 
uh, there's a website called republicansforobama.org, I think, started out as a fringe group and totally grew uh, into this huge uh, side movement. So that's the long answer to that question, which is I think that the politics of the 90s or the, the old school way of thinking is based on dividing people up into things other than being American, and that's just not how Barack is. Yeah, oh, sorry. 